What's up you guys? Welcome back. Um, in today's video, I think I'm just going to be doing some miscellaneous stuff to both cars. Um, I might be testing out doing some interior panels in the Lexus with that same material that I had. Um, I am working on the trunk setup for the Z today as well as those pieces behind the seats. And then check this out. We finally got the wheels all mounted up. So got the tires on those. We're going to be putting that back on the car today, getting this thing aired out. I changed up the tire sizes a little bit on the front. We went an extra, I think it was 10 on the sidewall and, or 10 on the actual width. And then we went an extra five on the sidewall on the rear. So let me get started getting some things taken apart and getting some things put together. And I will be right back to show you guys just a little bit of progress. So I am back. We have uh, two wheels on the Z right now. So far, so good. Um, we got all of the wrap off of the Lexus bumper. AJ showed up. He is helping me get this rewrapped. We had uh, some scuff marks on it before from whenever we transported to Gatlinburg and back. So he is working on that right now. I am getting the wheels on and i will show you guys what it looks like as soon as i get the car aired out so be, bear with me and i will be back in another few minutes okay so update we got all the wheels on the car um there were some things that i changed up with this versus the last setup so i am planning on putting side splitters on the car this year so what i did was i added an extra five to the sidewall you can see where it says 35 instead of 30. um so i did that on there to try and raise that up just a few mils and then the front I, instead of a, I think it was like a 235, I went to a 255. Um, I still have that little 10 mil spacer on there. So we're gonna see how it looks whenever I air it out and try and gauge whether I still need that or not. Cause I can still run it if I need it, but if I don't need it and I run risk of breaking the fenders, obviously I'm not gonna run them. So let's see how this looks aired out. Okay, so that's not gonna work. I'll show you why. But for the fronts, this is where we stopped. So that's pretty tight. And then on the other side, we're in about the same position. So give me a minute. I'm gonna raise this back up again. I'm gonna get these 10 mil spaces off of here and then that should give us all the clearance that we need to make this work. Okay, before we do that, we decided to air the rear out. This side fits perfect just barely snugged over the tire. The, op the opposite side, uh, not, not the same look. It's caught on the rubber of the tire. Actually watch, it's slowly moving past it. Nice, not too bad. So this one looks like it's slowly fitting itself, but the rear might be perfect without any modifications needed. But I think I am gonna shave down a little bit of this tire, just a hair. Sorry, my fucking nails are filthy. Uh, yeah, not too bad. Okay, small update, plans have changed a little bit more. This side did have the spacer on it. The other side did not have the spacer. Um, so worst case, uh, the arms that I have, we can add a little bit of camber. That's not too big of a problem. Um, but I'm really trying to keep the fitment super tight. So what we're doing now, as you can see, this is all taped off. I don't want to nick the outside of this. We're going to try and sand down this inner lip of this fender real quick. I'll show you what I'm trying to sh shave down a little bit. So if you look right here where it's not marked, 
there's quite a bit of fender that still can be taken down. So we're just gonna take down some of that, not too terribly much of that, and then see how that fits from there. So I'll be back in a few minutes and see how that turns out. Okay, I am, oh my God, I am covered in crap. So we ended up, I guess me, I ended up getting both sides of the fenders done, trimmed up, and I am about to try airing out for the first time. So see how that goes. Give me a minute. I'll show you guys what I'm working with as I'm working with it. Okay, so I'm back. We have, I have, I keep saying that, um, made progress on the front fenders. I got them all the way sanded down to where I think should be good enough to air the car out. So I am going to get in the car, get back on the controller and start lowering the car down. You guys will, I'll show you guys what it looks like as I'm doing it. Okay, fronts, great. Turned out perfect. Rears, probably even better. The rears ended up turning out really, really good. Um, I might post a little clip here. I took in like a real format for Instagram, but it is right on the money. So I'm super happy with the way that turned out. I think I'm gonna start working on a few interior pieces. He's still working on the bumper over there, so all is good progress for now. I will be back in another few minutes. All right, I am back. I lied. It's been a little bit more than a few minutes. It is the following day. Um, so AJ got a lot of progress done on the bumper. Sorry if the Z is a little loud. Um, he got the front bumper entirely finished. That looks great. Huge thank you to him. What I'm about to get started on now is going to be working on the 370. So as you can see right now, I have it jacked up by itself i am going to be using this little handy dandy potato peeler if you guys know anything about stance cars and potato peelers i am going to be trimming down this outer lip right here just so that way it doesn't catch as much right here i just want to make it so that it's a little bit smoother i don't want to crack my paint or anything or mess up the quarter panels so i'm going to get to doing that and i will show you guys what it looks like when i'm done Okay, so I got the Z all trimmed up. You can see the little bit of tire that I have beside it, but not as clean as I'd like it to be. So I might have to figure out a way to make that look a little bit nicer. But I got the lip off of this one, as well as the lip off of this one. So I'm gonna prop you guys up, air the car back out, and we'll see if we hit that at all or if it just airs out nice and smooth. Okay, so it's looking like it's still giving me a little bit of a problem, even with me grinding down that little piece. So what I think I'm going to do in the next one, I'm about to end this one off. Um, I think in the next one, I'm going to trim down these rear fender tabs just a little bit. Um, I think they are what's actually holding up the tire. Um, not 100% sure, but worst case, I do have uh, adjustable camber arms on the car. So we can throw an extra degree at it. I'm just really not trying to, to keep the fitment super dialed in and tight. Um, it should, it should hold up even if I don't add it. I'm just trying to do it for ease of worry, I guess you could say. Um, one more thing before I go. This is the interior panel on the Z. So these go behind the seats back there. I got this one started. I'm working on the other one over there, but did make good progress on those. Hopefully gonna get those installed within the next week. We have Slammed enough Ohio on May 5th, I believe it is. Hopefully, I think I'm right. Um, I will be showing both the cars on Sunday. So if you guys would like to see the progress that I've made or see the cars in person, just in general, 
come check them out. I will be at Slam Enough Ohio showing on Sunday. Um, the Z will just be by itself. The Lexus will be a booth car for Static Struggle. So huge thanks to them for having me. But I'm going to wrap this one up today, guys. I will see you guys in the next one. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Got a brand new beach. It's a brand new friends. Got a brand new bed, huh? It's a brand new dance, huh? Got a brand new kid.